Hey guys, it is again Old Man G here, back again um, with a uh, Sheffield versus Manchester United Ole Gunnar Solskjaer Prince Conference reaction. I don't think I've done these since the beginning of the channel, but I had a bit of time and I thought I'd just give my thoughts on what is a big game um, for Manchester United, especially given the results from other teams. Obviously, Chelsea losing um, to Wolves, having obviously lost to Everton previously. City obviously dropping points as well. Um, against West Brom and then obviously uh, we're, we're playing on Thursday we've got other teams playing today Spurs versus Liverpool one of those teams is going to drop points if maybe even both um, and so on so and Leicester obviously playing against Everton so a lot of big games I think uh, today that are going to really have an impact and, and it's really an opportunity for Manchester United to go at the Sheffield United team with confidence with zest um, to actually win this game and put us in a strong position um, in the league, you know. So without further ado, I'm just going to just quickly just react because we've got our um, Red Gunners podcast coming at half past two. So just a few questions Audrey Gunners Solskjaer was asked <coughs> on the first transfer. So he was asked here, obviously, about um, Dean Henderson and whether you could talk us about how much he's benefited from his two years. He's been at Sheffield, uh, one in the Premier League, um, Presumably, in, in being in, in trying to insinuate, you know, this whole thing between De Gea and uh, and Dean Henderson, um, it says it shows our benefit from loan deals. Are, of course, Dean has worked his way up through the ranks for the system and the two years of Sheffield United. He's come a mature quality keeper. He's made his England debut now since he's come back, and I feel he's learning more at Man United. Our players are different. We have a couple of different demands of him, obviously, but we're grateful Sheffield United and Chris Wood for giving him the chance to develop as they did, um, and that is the case. And he's, and you can certainly see with what's happening at Sheffield United, how, they, from what I can see, they appear to be suffering as a result. Um, briefly talk about Slambich. not really going to talk about it, but for those who are obviously aware, Slambich has been sacked by West Brom, even though they've got a good point against um, a City. I mean, West Brom are like this, unfortunately. Um, they are going to approach Big Sam, which I think is is uh, at the end. It's a solid move. Big Sam comes in to basically um, uh, to to save teams' relegation. I bet I don't think uh, Stanbridge was really um, uh, conceding that many goals, to be honest. But we'll see what happens. I think if you're Arsenal, you should be a bit concerned though. Uh, moving on, hi Ollie. On that theme, we talk about patient pressure. You know the pressure around the United as a manager, but it's very different. Pressure the bottom of the league, isn't it? With likes of so basically, he's just been asked about pressure being Manchester United right now. It's obviously not nice position being a manager because you want your players to play every game with confidence going in. And the game thing they win the game. I've been there at Cardiff, obviously, and you got relegated. And for me, it was a new experience, a learning experience of added one in respect. I didn't enjoy it with the results and the relegation we got. But as a manager, I think you could one of a few if you're not going to feel the pressure at one point. Uh, I felt it, and I'm sure Chris Slavin and whoever feels the pressure as well. And Chris Wilder, obviously. Being at the bottom of the league, because we are playing Sheffield United at the bottom of the league, is obviously going to be feeling a lot of pressure right now. Um, have you come to any answers or solutions about why so many teams are better away from home than at home at the moment? I think the only four teams are better home record than away record, so it's not just United. That is true. I think there is something that people need to bear that in mind. I think Liverpool are probably the only ones that have really consistent home record, but a lot of teams do have a better away record, and that is true. Um, and he just sums up by talks about how it's important. Um, and the fans are important. Um, an injury update on Edison Cavani. Um, it says, hi, how's Edison Cavani doing? We saw pitch him training. You've got six games, six days. How much are you going to lean on the squad? Yeah, of course, we have to be mindful of the little strains, um, Nichols' decisions. Um, from the kickoff, Chef United, the kickoff, Aston Villa, it's 15 times, 24 hours. So it's going to be very tight. Edison has done one as real, but we still have to, to make a decision if we should risk him because it is a risk a little bit too early. I doubt it be available for me to pick him tomorrow. And that, I think that's, that's a key. So Edison could probably not be. And for me, that's a good thing. Um, even though I think he's the type of player that we kind of need. We've played Sheffield before. And we've, we've always scored past them. We beat them last time. And even at home, we, it was a free free. So, and that was without Cavani. So I think we've got the firepower to beat Sheffield United. Um, I think that um, I'd rather see Cavani, in my opinion, um, start against Leeds because I think we need that type of player against Leeds. Um, and Cavani, um, Cavani gives us gives us that uh, oomph. Um, uh, he then just talks about the you know the the Deadwood in Marcus Rush and Phil Jones, not the Sergio Ramos Deadwood, and just that they've got injuries again. Sergio Ramos is training well, you know. I want to dwell on Oli. Do you think the season is going to be in terms of results all the way through? We saw last night City draw against West Ham, Chelsea losing Liverpool, not being Fulham. Hashtag, do you think every game is going to get harder than it normally would be? And we're getting shock results. 
and he just talks about how this is just the nature of the Premier League. Um, you've got to play 100% all the time against top teams, and it's especially tight against the small teams as well. Um, and it just talks about on the Sheffield United. So I'm going to really touch on that. Uh, Oli, it was another slight change in shape against Man City. So I'd say you, you've got you've uh, used a dime formation free at the back for the back. How do you feel, pleasure to have been asked to play? What was the change in formation? Uh, you tell me. See, see, see if you got it. So I think he was a bit frustrated about with that question. And he says, um, Pogba on the left hand side of Simon, he's not really played there too much, Rusi. So yeah, of a four, two, three, one. I mean, I kind of agree with this guy. We have changed things a bit, but he says that his formation, he's confirmed that his formation is a four, two, three, one. That is how we play. Coming to Pogba is probably Pogba's safe position. I think he did well. And he talks about um obviously um uh about Pogba, about is it is it sorry, his uh um, impact twice we played with three at the back. We beat PSG in one of them, unfortunately, lost to Leipzig. You shouldn't have played three at the back of Leipzig, Oli. That was a mistake, that was a tactical mistake on your end. We played a four game of times at home in a diamond, and we played two. Yeah, so why don't you play a diamond away against? So that's the thing. My that's one of the big pet peeves I have with Solskjaer. I think that's what we have is that you know, why are you going to free dropping to three at the back against a, like a PSG or, or, or an RB Leipzig, you know, away from home when? The diamonds, you know, given that three in the back against PSG, we still struggle at times. Our diamond or four two three one has been much better. Um, it is what it is. Um, so that's that's the general gist just a bit. Like overall, like I mean, um, there's not really much to, to, uh, to I would say to take from that. You know, other than um, well, the big really things was just that we know what our formation is apparently, and Cavani won't be available. Um, Chris Wilde is under pressure. Um, we need to win this game. It's important and imperative to win this game. I think it's good that we're playing on Thursday to a certain extent because we can see what the other team's doing. Uh, we know that sometimes when we are favourites, we often, you know, um, buckle. But there's no reason why we shouldn't beat Sheffield United on Thursday. I'll bet that leaves us with less recovery time. But we've got to win this game. We've got to win this game. Anyway, guys, um, I'm done. If you need to channel remember to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio, follow us on Twitter on X and smash that notification button for the latest Manchester United news. Let me know your thoughts on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's um, press conference uh, and how you fully handled it in the comments below. Have a nice day, everyone, and cheers.